hey, it's random code here, and today I want to showcase the program I created, which is a simple dice roll program. So whenever I click this button, roll, I roll my dice, and I get a random number between 1 and 6. 2, 2, 1, and so on. And as mentioned, it is just simply create your Java fix and scene builder. So first, let's have a quick look inside the scene builder. Let's look at this setup. We have a simple image view containing our image. It's going to be containing our image and our button, which I have an ID and on action call. So inside my controller, I have all these components, but actually quite important as well. I have a folder controlling all my dice images inside my source sample and dice, and I then have dice 1, dice 3, dice 2, dice 4, and so on. And as mentioned, they're named with dice, then the number, dot png, which we are later on going to be using to actually find the images. But inside my controller, I first have this random object, which allows me to get a random picture later on. I have my image view, I have my roll button, I have my on action call for my button. And here, the most of the interesting stuff actually happens. So when I will click this roll button, first of all, roll button is turned off, so set disabled to true, so I can click again before it's done, like, rolling. And then create a thread. You simply have a run method, which is simply first print thread running to the console, as we see down here. I then have a simple for loop, going through 15 times, which creates a file, which contains one of our images by simply doing my position of my file. So source, sample, dice, and the dice, plus a random number, Plus PG, and I then use my random object to get a random number, simply doing random.nextint 6, which would give me a number between 0 and 5, because it's doing from 0 to the number, not including the number. So in this case, until 6, and then add 1 to get from 1 till 6, which is my dice numbers, and then add PNG as mentioned. I then take this file and turns it into an image, a JavaFX component, JavaFX object. Just simply doing file the to Yuri to string to get the position of the file as an image, and then I simply sleep my thread and set this to my image view and sleep my thread. So each time, find a file, find an image, take this image and set it to my image view, and then sleep the thread for 50 milliseconds. And I do this 15 times, which is why we get this kind of like dice rolling animation. And whenever we're done rolling, in times we would have some images left, which is going to be the one picked. And we then simply disable our roll button. And after we're done doing all our rolling, we just start our thread. So create all the rolling inside our thread, we start it. We might also have noticed that we have this try catch block, which is because whenever we are sleeping our thread at some point, we need to be able to catch this interrupted exception if it is interrupted at some point. But Otherwise, this is more or less the basic setup of our dice rolling program. We have the simple button. When we click the button, we start a thread which rolls the dice. And when the thread is done running, we enable our button again, and then we can roll again. So this is my simple version, or relatively simple version, of a dice rolling program inside JavaFX. If you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.